Hello sports fans, it's Marion Manneker. I just wanted to go over some of the numbers for both the upcoming free sales and the auctions that just took place in Hong Kong last week. For freeze, I should point out there's about 158 million pounds worth of art on offer. That's actually down about 8% from the aggregate low estimate of last year's sales. The number of lots, however, is higher. That means, on average, the lots are estimated a bit lower. That's a good sign because estimates across the board are still quite high and bidders are reacting against that. If we turn to what happened in Hong Kong, it's worth noting that there was about $195 million worth of art sold in Hong Kong at Phillips and Sotheby's and the sales took place at a 0.79 hammer ratio, which is pretty weak and suggests that, again, estimates are aspirational and that bidders are resistant to paying any more than they absolutely have to. Also, the sell-through rate was a meager 75%. In these days of heavily managed sales, that is almost uh, unheard of across the board. And it tells us, again, that you know, as a, a, a spending sector, uh, art is slowing down along with the global economy. The top three lots in the week's sales tell a very interesting story. There was a Medigliani that sold for about $8 million less than what it was purchased for eight years ago. Just below that was a Gerhard Richter abstract painting that sold for about $5 million less than what it sold for 11 years ago. But a Rene Magritte painting sold for about 50% more than it had sold for about six or eight years ago. So it really depends on the artist and where they were selling in the prior period, whether the seller sees a return these days. And in the Hong Kong sales, we saw that works that sell for a premium price of around $50,000 are the one place in the market where the bidding is the weakest. I'm not sure what conclusion to draw from that. It, it, it's an interesting sort of spot in the market. Works over a million dollars were uh, basically on par, but that was because there was a broad mix, you know, of works that failed to sell and works that were bid up uh, to the hammer ratio. So uh, again, the market's choosy, and a lot of it really depends on the buyers selecting and consigners being judicious in making sure what they're trying to sell really has demand in the market. If you want to get more detail, read the report on artelligence.substack.com. You have to be a paid subscriber to be able to read it, but I hope you'll think about doing so. And if not, you can wait for the next one of these videos. We'll see you soon.